Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back playing Cube 2, in Chapter 8, The Fall of Man. And, let's go ahead and jump down, get started. So lovely. Alright, so, we've got a couple buttons up here, that I can't really get to at the moment. Well, this is interesting. That's where the black goop comes from, this is another spot. So... How might we want to get started here? <laughs> that doesn't seem immediately useful. Oh. Let's- let's put it there instead, how about that? There we go. That seems much more useful. Uh, how do we actually get up there, though? Oh, probably- probably by putting the red guy here first. There we go, that's how we get up there. There we go. Coat it in the gunk. Oh, that just permanently activated now. Okay, good. So now we want to figure out how to activate this, right? I guess we can jump up to here by sliding along on the cube and then jump up to there, and then we can figure out what to do next from there. Whee! You have to admit this is better than the weird magnetism physics in Cube 1. Right, so... Let's do that. And... Do this. And this. There we go, perfect. Oh, is this gonna be another... Weird... another weird room? I think it will be. When will we understand the purpose of these? I don't understand. James... I saw him. He was there. Just normal, not... Ten minutes ago. Now? Well, look. What could do this? Huh. We sell information like you do in a mine. The truth is in this information. Expose us, we die. What truth? What are you? Activate each room and I will share a memory with you. Through this you shall understand. I deserve to know what you've done! Well, I guess that confrontation is over. More black goop stuff we can spit out into fire. I guess we're gonna light this on fire at one point. What is this? It's like, is it- does it spray black gunk, or does it li light on fire? Hmm. So we can move that into the way of the wall. Hmm. It's a bit of a- kind of a ramp here. <laughs> How's that gonna work out? Interesting. Hmm. Whatever activates this is up there. Can I make this jump? Yes I can, excellent. Oops. <laughs> well, that's, uh... Can we crush it when it's inked? Whoa! What? <laughs> Physics! <laughs> well, that was fascinating. Let's do that again. Uh, oh. Let's, uh, yeah, we gotta undo this. And do this. And this. And this. <laughs> yep, physics. That's exactly the problem with physics. 
Right, let's- let's do this. And... Okay then. Hmm. I don't see a good way to, like, launch it with a bounce pad. Oh! 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 Oh, oh, oh. There we go! Whee! <laughs> hey, music! Nice. I'm guessing this is a permanent button, or- no, it's actually a bounce pad. Interesting. So can we light that? Indeed we can! It has been lit. Right, but then we, what do we want to do with- Right, we want to burn the wall back here, right? Oh, so it's basically the same thing we already did. Gotcha. Oh, first we gotta move this out of the way, though. There we go. Get rid of that. And... oh. That's not actually what I wanted to do. <laughs> let's- let's- yeah. I'm doing things out of order here. Do that. Want this. Wanna push it, then do this and this. That should be sufficient, I believe. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep, that's entirely my fault. <laughs> I stepped off just a tad too early. Because I'm stupid. Right. Red right there. That. Here we go. Now we just need to be patient. There we go. There we go. We are the Earths. We began learning like you many millennia ago. Our planet, our cells. Our solar system, our universe. We know what we do. We were consumed by knowledge. Okay. What's so bad about knowledge? Beautiful. We can make it gunky. Then... We can do something like this. And something like that. BAM! There we go. This is permanent. Don't ever need to come back. Alright, so now... Kinda like a ramp to get the cube in here, right? Can we do that, though? Or do I need to jump in? Like, this distinctly looks like something I would want to ramp a cube off of. I don't even know if it's necessary, though. Oh yeah, I can just push the cube, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Come with me, cube. Bam! Ta-da! Why did I want it there? Was I supposed to write on it? I think I was supposed to write on it. Well, crap. <laughs> Let's try that again. And... 
Lift off! Well, that was fun. And lift off. Ah, uh, hmm. I think I actually didn't want to do it there. Wait, is it not finished? There we go. Get fully gunked up. And now, this is already pressed, right? Yeah. And now, we do... What do we want to do? We want to capture it there? I think so. Okay, it's captured. And I guess we want to write on it, right? Oh, I'm supposed to be on it. Oops, can I still make this jump? The answer is no. Can I jump on it as it rockets past me? The answer is no. Yeah, alright, we gotta try again. Oh, this is what was created by stepping on this button. I was wondering how I couldn't have just gone up here the first time without doing the cube thing. Right, so. Do that, do that. Gunk it up. And now we gotta actually be on it. Uh, oh. I need to be over here so I can jump on it, please. Thank you. We wanna- we wanna capture. Release. Capture. Release. Release! There we go. Everything is connected. Each space, each room is part of us. We structure each one and make this information whole. I think I understand. The structure of these rooms. They determine the form of the memory. These rooms are a language. A code for information. That explains how we powered the lift. That makes no sense. Why would you store information in the form of puzzles? <laughs> that seems like an incredibly inefficient form of information storage. I don't know about you guys, but it just seems rather inefficient to me. Interesting. So our end result is that we want fire up there, right? Seems reasonable enough. Right. How do we get up here first of all? Do I just need to do this, and this? Apparently yes, and what's even the point in that case? Let me guess it's gonna burn out too quickly? Oh, this one's... Fiery now. So now I just need to stay here, right? Yeah, and then redo this part. Right, so we're basically extending the fuse. Gotcha. Oh, come on! Oh, good. Oh, good. We had a second chance there. Excellent. Right, so now I just need to get up there. Alright, one more to go, as she said.
Hmm. Oh, it's that one up there. Okay. You know, I wonder... I wonder if the order I do these in doesn't matter and if it swaps them out on the fly. That would be neat. That would be neat. Of course, then if you leave one to go to another, what will it do then? That's a good question. So we've got a ramp here. A very obvious looking ramp. We can use this in both the gunk form and the fire form. Gotcha. <laughs> okay then. Sure. Cause that's totally how that works. So we wanna do something like that. And this. Well now that time it fell. I guess cause it fell from higher, right? So then we want it to be on fire, right? the best way... Oh, it's probably gonna get captured... in that, right? Perfect. So let me do this one. Hmm. That's a bit of an issue, isn't it? We want it to actually burn. Oh. Okay. So let's gunk it up first. And that should be sufficient. Indeed it is! Excellent. Once like us. We were. That's all you're gonna ask? You're not gonna ask why did it go wrong, what happened? Okay then. I feel like you're squandering your interaction time with these people. Another slow monorail. Is this the way we came in? I think it might be the way we came in. Yeah, probably. That's what would make sense. A lot of back and forth in this game. On to the other side. Is that a teleporter that I've started to power? It is the way in which you shall return. It requires more than energy. You have shown the trust, and in return, so will we. Go forth, be ill, and learn. Alright, I wasn't sure if she was going to respond to that at all. Yep, here we go, another loading screen. Loading screen back to back, with some little dialogue in between. Unfortunate side effect of the structuring of this game. Memories of God. That's an interesting phrase. See, like, this cable... Wait, what? What? Uh, I think the hitbox is wrong here. <laughs> this is where the hitbox for the cable is? But then the cable's actually here? Okay then. I feel like this game didn't really get tested as much as it should have been. Where do we- where does it want us to start? Up there? Right, up in the center. Gotcha. Dead ahead. Oh, it's very, very dark in here. Probably looks terrible on YouTube, I'm sorry. Now this is very lovely. Oh, there's my hands. That means we're in a puzzle. Right, what does this do? Moves that? What does that do? 
Oh no. Oh no. Well. All right. All right. All right. What the heck? Oh, these leaves are just. What the heck is wrong with these leaves? That's not how leaves fall! What the heck is going on here? Are you seeing this? These leaves are like, jittering. Are these leaf bugs? What? What am I even looking at right now? This is nonsensical. I feel like these leaves are going to attack me if I insult their mother. Alright, let's just- let's just ign <laughs> let's ignore that for now. Right, so what do you want to do? What do we want to do next? I guess something like that and this. Yep, that seems about right. What was even the point of that though? Very dark, terrible on YouTube. Very bright, much better. It's so nice. So in the desert world, there was like dirt everywhere, and now in the dirt world, I guess, there's sand everywhere? Is that a detail I'm supposed to be picking up? Although this- this sand also has the problem of looking rather distinctly like cake mix. It's like a combination of vanilla cake mix and chocolate cake mix. Or it's like brown sugar. Either way, it's some kind of cake mix. Hmm. Interesting. We have a wall here. It's easy enough to get back onto this wall if we fall off. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Ha! <laughs> it's not particularly helpful, but it's nice to know we can do that. There's a button there, it's a press once button. Good to note. Hmm. Am I missing something? Is there something... Oh, that's what I'm missing! That right there! There we go. I guess it's gonna land here, and we're gonna launch the cube at it to get it to move, right? That would be my guess. Yes, and we can't move it. What the? What am I standing on? What am I standing on right now? Alright, well, I'm just not even gonna question it. Uh, I guess we need to use the cube here as well. There we go. Perfect. What do we have through here? Oh, that was just the- that was just the edgeless safety cube rolling about. Oh, nothing. There's literally nothing left in the puzzle except a little pointless double jump. Why do you put your hands away for such a short time and then put them back up again? It seems like a waste of energy. I don't know. <laughs> that moves that. Interesting. What power is- what power is Mr. Gunko? I guess it's oil or something, but I'm gonna keep calling it gunk. Oh, this is what powers it. How was I supposed to know that? I guess by... experimenting. Like, it has cables for just about everything? Oh, this one does have a cable. Where does that cable go, though? Oh, it just kind of vanishes up in there, and you're just supposed to guess that it connects to that, I guess. Right, well we can get a- we can get a ball, so I'm guessing we'll want to block the ball so we can gunk it up, right? What will that change, though? Oh, but we need to actually... Alright. So now that the ball's gunked up, what does that change about it? Is it just that we want to burn it? That 
would be my guess. But, uh... I guess I need to launch myself to that, to quickly light that. Let's do it. Yeah, there we go. See, I'm just guessing and I know how to solve these. Oh wait, was there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Please understand. I can't. I can't not think about somebody. Situation if it wasn't for you. You took me away from my home. I did not. I did not take you. Well, how did I end up on your vessel in space then? If it wasn't for Emma, then God knows what would have happened. I did not take you. What? But yeah, whenever I see Please Understand, I can't not think of a certain Nintendo employee, who I'm sure you're all very familiar with. So we want to launch a cube or something here. Cube or edgeless safety cube. Either or. And here's our edgeless safety cube. Sure it works out pretty much the same as a regular cube, right? Oh yeah, we want to capture it. There we go. Yep, pretty much exactly the same as the cube, except that it's edgeless. And it's safe. Therefore, it's an edgeless safety cube. And then, is it enough to just... Oh, I think we need to gunk it up first, right? How might we accomplish that? Hmm. It'll roll up the ramp, and either get stuck or it'll roll back, and then... Then what? If that was an utter failure. So maybe we need to block it with the green cube, or...? I mean, we can gunk up a green cube if we wanted to. But do I need to? Not entirely sure why I would do that. Maybe I need to launch the ball into it? Oh, but now I can't because the green cube is there. Yep, that's- that's not helpful. If I remove that, the cu green cube goes away, so... Let's just try this without the cube for now. Yep, that does exactly what I expected. So let's lift this up and see where it goes. Alright, so that does open it. So then I guess my goal is just to get the green cube here so that... Ah, okay. I need to push the green cube with the ball. I mean, the edge of the safety cube. Oops. I wonder if there's a way to crush these as well. Let's find out. That wasn't right. Come on, there's gotta be a way to crush it. Almost. I feel like it takes an, an unusual amount of time to step off of the button. Well... I think that's a waste of time, honestly, but I'm sure we can crush it if we really wanted to. Alright, so there's that much. Then we do this. We gunk it up, and then we stand on it. There we go, nice and gunky. And... launch! Yay, there we go. That's interesting. Is that a cable? I guess that's a cable. Still not sure why they give us so many of these bounce panel spots.
Oh, goodness. Where are we now? Great job. Great job, LB. Great job. Nope, not high enough for that. Okay. I can put cubes on these. Yeah, they specifically give me the ability to put cubes on these buttons. Yep, that's also not right. That works. Why though? Oh. Okay. Okay. Still, why though? Why is that a thing? That's not even challenging. Right, I need to send it first. And then run over there quickly. Gotta send it all the way to the end. The end is nigh. And... There we go, perfect. And that's a one-time button press. So that's part of the stairs. Understood. So now we need to do the fire door and... the any object velocity door. Oh, why, hello there. I'm guessing we'll want to knock the cube and- or the ball and edge the city in this direction somehow? Perhaps? Nope, let's not do that. <laughs> well, that might work. Oh, nope, that's too far. Way too far. Alright, let's try that again. So then... Maybe we do... that? There we go. Oh. I want to do here. Ah. Well, that's pretty straightforward then. And there you have it. There we go. Now we just gotta figure out this middle one. Seems... reasonable enough. Why would we want to move it over to here? Right, to get it gunky first. Oh, and that's why we want to stop it there. Nope, oh, this one. this so it catches on fire. Right. Will it move quickly enough is the question. Let's find out. Oh yeah, it'll move quickly enough. And then we can just go step on that ourselves. Like, I could have stepped on that ourselves as well. But whatever. This works too.
That's a weird sound. Oh my, that's quite a fall. Right. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!